Number 41. Sketch the equipotential lines in the vicinity of the negatively charged conductor. How will these equipotentials look at a long distance from the object? All right. Um, so first thing I would do here is kind of draw the electric field lines. All right. So if I had to draw the electric uh, field lines, I know that this thing is negatively charged. And therefore, the electric field lines would probably look something like, you know, this. Where they're pointing toward. Right. They always point toward the negative. It look maybe like this, like this, you know, like this. Do do do. All right, it's almost like you're watching Bob Ross draw something here, right? All right, I don't know if I can finish this just because my attention span might not be allowing me. All right, that's good enough. So, don't you love these problems? I hope you love them more than I do. I actually like doing a lot of these, but these problems, mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so anyway, if I had to draw now the uh, potential, basically, it's an oval. It's an oval. Let's not complicate matters. It's an oval. All right, why is it going to be, and that turned into a square? All right, that turned into a square. Not really sure why. But here's the oval. Okay. How do I know it's going to be an oval? Well, remember, if I know the direction of the electric field lines, I know that everywhere it has to be basically... A perpendicular. My electric field lines, by the way, are definitely something to be desired here. Um, you notice this isn't perfectly parallel, neither is this. You know, um, it's a it's a sketch. It's going to be really hard for me uh, to do. I I I I absolutely suck at drawing, um, but that's what we have to deal with. Um, my inability to draw things, trying to draw things out and explain them. Um, yeah. That's it. That's all I got for you. So I hope you have a great day. I hope this helped. It probably didn't, and I do apologize about it. But I have to recognize my own limitations. We do know the we do know the shape, though. It's going to be oval. And uh, what else? How will these negatively charge? Yeah, that's good enough. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do hope this. Um, well, it probably didn't help, but um, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Hopefully, in the other problems, I've helped you tremendously. Okay, take care.